Hello, I'm continuing my little metaphysical uh, series. And as I promised, we're going to look at how the human personality is made up in karmic astrology. Uh, we are looking at karmic astrology as a human being made up of the physical body, the soul, the spiritual essence, the mind, and the karmic baggage that it is carrying. So let's look at it, you know, and how, how they manifest. The, 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 the ascendant is the physical body. We're going to talk about it in a minute. Uh, the ego development, the chosen ego development, the mind is the sun. Uh, the spiritual essence is the moon. And the, the, the karmic baggage, um, the karmic reaction or the, the knowledge that you're carrying, which is a very, very deep instinctual knowledge, is represented by the south node. Let's look at them in detail and let's see how, how they manifest in you and how this uh, fourfold uh, layer, okay, how these four layers actually um, are, are going to put together your own personality. The physical body is the ascendant. This is represented by the ascendant. And uh, the way uh, the physical body is being made uh, is a very simple method. Mother and father are making love and the, uh, the incoming soul of the child is actually there. It is kind of supervising the act and is making it possible for certain genes to, to manifest in the fetus. For a very, very long time uh, in biology lessons, we learned that uh, uh, the, the, um, the human egg is um, somehow attracting the fastest, the most able, the best, uh, the altogether strongest uh, sperm. And I was always wondering if this is true, then why there are so many sick babies born? Why, why uh, are they dying? Why are they having certain really, really serious illnesses? Why are there so many spontaneous abortions? I couldn't answer this. But lately, I just learned that actually the, the, the egg has a, 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 a very special, unique, uh, protein molecule on it, uh, which is which is always different, and it's called uh, Juno. By the way, quite interestingly, Juno is one of the uh, the asteroids in in uh, comic astrology that we are using. It's the the, the second asteroid uh, that was discovered in four, uh, in in seven uh, sorry eighteen o two, and it is the archetype of the the uh, the, the, the first lady. Anyhow, this Juno molecule, this protein molecule, is attracting the sperm, the very sperm that is best suited for her needs. So, and to me, that was that was a very strong indication that it's actually the uh, the, the the incarnating soul who is kind of conducting and directing the whole the whole process. So, there already is going to be. Um, Put together a set of uh, a set of uh, uh, traits that it, that this baby, when once it's grown up, wants to use. And uh, in due course, the baby is born. Now, the exact moment in time signifies the physical body because uh, because the the sign on the eastern horizon rising is actually going to manifest as your mask, as your, uh, the, the physical body that you're carrying. And each sign has its, uh, has its um, uh, manifestations, but I'm going to talk about that later on. So we are not going to look into this, how the signs are actually shown in the physical body. Uh, I'm going to only tell you that um, you can actually look at someone at the, at, you know, late puberty, early uh, adulthood, and you can tell actually the element for sure, what element the, the ascendant is there. 
especially when there's no uh, other celestial object, object around the ascendant. Very often there is an, a, a celestial object around the ascendant, in, in very, very closely conjunct with it. Um, and if this ha happens, then that particular planetary deity, that, that god, is going to be manifesting through you. So you're going to be the, the vessel of that, that uh, uh, personality. So for instance, you may have a Gemini ascendant, but if you have Mars on your ascendant, conjunct your, your ascendant, then you're going to be the war, warlord and you're going to act as someone who is going to fight, maybe not with weapons, but with birds, because Gemini is, is, a, is a, uh, an air uh, sign, but still, you are going to be the fighter. But this is something that we are, we are going to discuss later on. I just want you to see how the human personality has those layers and the full, full character is going to put together and, and how it, it may be manifesting. So this is the ascendant. The ascendant is always a physical body. It's what you show to the outside world, what comes through a door, what someone immediately uh, uh, notices. Uh, very often uh, when you fall in love, you fall in love with the physical body because you're drawn to its physicality. It's, you, know, you consider it beautiful uh, or there's something in it that triggers your interest. So the physical body is very important. Uh, as I said in my previous uh, video, you need to be, take good care of it. You need to look after it. You need to carry uh, for its needs. You cater for its needs, actually. So you need to, to pay attention to it fully and considerately. Uh, and uh, not dis you need not destroy it. So you must not destroy it, actually. Uh, the, uh, the soul, let's talk about the spiritual essence. That's your moon sign. And... We are going to look at how, by the way, these, these four four planets are actually manifesting once a baby is born, and one and uh, what time and how, at what age and how. But uh, let's just consider first the human soul, the spiritual essence. This is something that remains, uh, remains intact uh, in us, and it. Actually, I think I have a theory, I can't really prove it, but uh, more often than not, I, I get um, uh, reassurance that I'm right, that within one incarnation cycle, uh, this, the, uh, this, the, the moon sign is not going to change. And even if there's another incarnation cycle, the element of the moon may remain the same. And uh, the reason why is because on the earth plane, we are we are learning about certain very human decisions, very human uh, juxtaposed juxtapose ideas. And uh, we, usually live out, we usually live out one side of the story and then we go to the other side and then we kind of uh, start closing in and when we are, we are in between and we consider it uh, resolved and we move on to the next big topic. So there are big topics of incarnation, uh, love and hate, knowledge and ignorance, power and powerlessness, riches and, and, and poor and things like that. So very, you know, very obvious issues. Those big themes that we have all tried to uh, work with and we are actually struggling with uh, throughout our lifetime, uh, but there's usually one major theme of an incarnation cycle, and we are moving within that cycle, and we are trying to understand how it works, and we are trying to, to gather information, knowledge, and experience, um, and once we tackle it, we can move on. So, and that is exactly what the, the, the human uh, soul is. Uh, trying to to make it uh, it happen, so we come down to the earth plane. We 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 are born in a physical body, but our soul is eternal, and that soul is manifested in uh, Egyptian mythology by the Ba, the uh, the Ba bird, uh, and uh, it's usually um, painted on the sarcophagus uh, somewhere around the the, the heart, and. This bar 
is what comes out of us, what flies out of us with our last breath and actually comes into us with the first breath. And uh, the, the spiritual essence is eternal. It does develop, so it does change occasionally. And there are certain signs uh, when you look at the, the birth chart, uh, you can tell that someone has this, this imperative to, to make a soul change, to, make a sh to, to shed its old uh, uh, spiritual essence and enter into another one. Uh, so you can distinguish this from the birth chart. But mostly, mostly, we are very happy with our moon sign because uh, as Judy Hall uh, described it, it's our lunar food. It describes our lunar food, what makes us feel good about ourselves and what gives us pleasure and security. That's the moon. And the spiritual essence is your deepest uh, and most ingrained uh, uh, manifestation that you are. You don't really get to know people's moon signs until you actually live with them. Uh, once you move in and start living with someone, that is when the moon sign is going to manifest. While the physical body comes into the across the door and you immediately see it. And the third ingredient is the sun sign. And the sun sign is something that you have chosen for your ego development. The sun sign is something that you are going to develop all through your life until your last moment. And it's, it's a, a, a house sign or house placement is a placement uh, that describes what you need to do how, what you need to create in this life, what you need to become in this life, um, what, are, what is the most important sphere of life where you need to become what you really are. And it usually doesn't happen until the first Saturn return that you actually tackle that area. It's unknown or, or it may be uh, difficult or fearful or so you, you, you're not very comfortable. Uh, with, your, uh, with the, the, uh, the house of your son, simply because you don't know how to, to make it happen. You don't know what to do about it. Uh, and the son's aspects describe how your ego with development is going to uh, manifest, whether it's going to be easy or difficult, how, uh, what other archetypes you have chosen to, to trigger the changes in you. Those are the, uh, the aspects of the, uh, the sun. And uh, we came to the last portion of our uh, fourfold uh, layer of, uh, of uh, human personality, which is the south node. Now the south node is what you bring in for this incarnation to utilize in order to use it as some sort of survival kit whenever you are being questioned, threatened, cornered, or whenever you are in a tight position, you are going to use it as a very instinct, instinctual uh, 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 tool or weapon against anyone who is threatening you. And I'm not saying that the South Node describes what you know karmically, because you know a lot more karmically than just the South Node. What I'm saying is that whenever you plan your trip to the earth plane, you need to pack a suitcase full of stuff that you are going to need. And so you choose a south node sign according to your needs, according to what you actually want to use whenever you are cornered. Uh, we are going to talk about how these four layers of the human uh, personality are manifesting at what period of life and how, but this is it, this is how you're made up of, and you might as well start thinking about your energy pattern, because uh, if you know your ascendant, your sun sign, your moon sign, and your south node sign, you will have those four uh, 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 astrological signs by which your personality is put together. It's quite interesting and quite revealing. So I suggest that you start working with these energy patterns and get to know yourself.
Bye-bye.